Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Pots and Petals here, everything garden and allotment related. We've got a lovely day today, it is actually quite sunny, but I think tomorrow or Wednesday uh, the weather's meant to change, so it's starting to get a little bit cooler here in the UK, which actually I'm quite looking forward to. I'm ready to, to put everything to bed. I don't want to focus too much on weeding at the moment. I'm going to wait until, you know, things start dying down and then we can give it a real good tidy up. So really today, I haven't got too long down here. I want to try and harvest as much as we've got. We've got the tomato, squash, beetroot. I'm sure we've got a lot more as well. And then the carrot bed also needs a weed. And I'm just going to go around and do a little bit of deadheading and some other little bits and bobs today. Like I say, I haven't got a huge amount of time down here today. So we'll try and get through as much as we can. So let's start off in the carrot bed, let's give that a weed and then we can start on some of the harvesting. Come on. We don't seem to be having much luck in this bed. This is the second load of carrots that I've sown in here, but as you can see, I've probably got more milk thistle than anything else. So we'll give it a good weed, see what carrots I have got left. And then if I have got any carrot seeds on me, I'll just try and fill in some of those gaps. It is a little bit late, but fingers crossed, they might bulk up into something by Christmas. Let's give it a real good weed and see what we're left with. Not many carrots in there at all so i am going to have to sow some more so you can see i've just made some little lines in the soil i'm going to fill those with water just before i sow the seeds just so that it's nice and moist and those seeds will stick to the soil quite nicely and also it'll be nice and damp for the root once the seed has germinated so we'll just fill these up and then we'll get sowing the autumn king carrots and just give them a little cover over with a bit of soil and fingers crossed they should germinate my only worry is, is that from the 21st of September, light levels are going to be getting lower and lower, so they might not bulk up as big as I'd like. But let's give it a go and see what happens. Can everyone please cross some fingers, legs, toes, whatever you can, and hope that these carrots do germinate. As I said in yesterday's plot tour, you want to be deadheading your flowers as much as possible, and this goes for the majority of flowering plants. So I'm gonna be focusing on the dahlias, the achilleas, I think I might have some roses to deadhead, and some of the pelagoniums as well. The whole point of deadheading is that you're tricking the plant into thinking that it hasn't been able to set seed, therefore it hasn't been able to multiply, which is something that all plants want to do. So by removing the dying flowers, you are removing the possible seeds in there, and the plant will automatically start putting more flowers out in the hope that it will be able to finally set seed. So just keep going in, removing those dead flowers, and you will find more blooms to come. Keeping on top of the dead heading, these dahlias will flower well into the first frost, which is October, November time. It's a little bit cooler than yesterday, so I should be able to handle sitting in the poly house for a little while. So we've got loads and loads of tomatoes which are ripened, so we'll get all of those in the basket. We haven't got that many green that are waiting to turn, so it might be that we're almost done with the tomatoes. And then we've got a few cucumbers at the back to harvest and also some chilies as well. So we'll go in and see what we can find.
not a bad little harvest from the poly house so we've got loads of tomatoes in there we've got everything from gardener's delight to plum to black cherry then on the left hand side you can see those three little yellow chilies there i'm not too sure what they are or how hot they're going to be but we'll give them a go we've got that one little aubergine in the center we've got quite a few of the apple lemon cucumbers still coming and then i have just cut off the little tiny chilies from the plant just so that we can dry them off at home so they last a little bit longer than the fresh chilies but yeah really chuffed with that if you remember yesterday we had the little patty pan squash it's my first year growing patty pans so if anybody's got any good recipes please let me know in the comments below i'm pretty sure you're not meant to let them get too big a bit like a courgette and you treat it like a courgette as well so we'll take this guy home and see what we can do with him If you remember yesterday, these were looking a little bit sulky because they hadn't had enough water. So I've given them a water, they're perked up a little bit, they're looking a bit better. But there are a few beetroot in here which have started to swell, they're quite big so we'll take those home and they'll just give a little bit more room for the smaller ones to bulk up a little bit. Now over autumn, winter, because the light levels are a little bit lower, there's not going to be a huge amount of growth in them, but they'll be absolutely fine if you leave them in there until the spring. got the mashed potato roast potato squash I'm pretty sure they're the same plant it's my first year growing them and they're absolutely gorgeous they do mash roast exactly like a potato so if you want something a little bit healthier with not as many carbs I'd definitely grow these next year and you can treat these a little bit like a summer squash in that you can harvest them a little bit earlier than your winter squash but if you leave them on the plants they will harden off and ripen and they will store quite well I want to take these two home with me today and we've got one which has started to go a slight peachy colour so I think that's ready as well so we'll take those three home and see what we can make. You might have remembered yesterday, I wanted to harvest these, but I totally forgot and I went home without them. So let's harvest the grapes. They're absolutely beautiful. We've got four nice big bunches here and they all come home with us today. really chuffed with this harvest so it's the first year I've had grapes it's the first year I've had roast potato or mashed potato squash and also the same with the lemon apple cucumbers so it's been a really good year this year so that is a nice little basket to take home for the beginning of September So that's all we've got time for today folks it was a really quick one so we've managed to do the harvest and a little bit of tidying up but i think the weather is meant to change next weekend it's meant to get a little bit more cooler a little bit more autumnal so i'll probably be in a better mood to start putting some of the beds to bed ready for the winter time but we'll, we'll save that until next weekend also want to give you a little update from the hospital corner and we'll also run through some of the things that you can still sow into september please don't forget to subscribe like comment all of that good stuff and I'll see you all again very soon for another adventure down on the plot. In the meantime, take care guys, and I'll see you all very soon. See you later. Bye bye.